Hey everyone, it's Hannah, and today I'm going to show you how to make a triple single bracelet, just like this one, using the Loom Band Kit, available at mailorder-beads.co.uk. In your kit, you'll receive the loom, a hook, the instructions on how to make this bracelet, you'll receive 10 of the C-clips, and you'll also receive 200 stretch bands, so you can make lots of bracelets in lots of different colours. So to make this bracelet, you are going to need your loom, obviously, a hook, you're going to need one C-clip or S-clip or whatever clip you have. You are going to need 10 of each of the outside colours of the bracelet. So for example on this one, that's 10 of the yellow and 10 of the green. You're going to need 9 of the inside colours. And then you're going to need 9 of the colours in the background here. And then you're also going to need some extra ones of the background colour to make your extension chain. So your bracelet fits around your wrist. So you'll notice that your loom has U-shaped pegs on it and to start with you're going to want the U-shape to be facing with the opening upwards. So the bottom of the U-shape is just heat on the bottom here and the opening is on the top. This is more important than you might realise as it will help the hooking process an awful lot. So we're going to start with the colour on the left hand side first and for me that's blue. So I'm going to grab 10 of the blue bands and then starting at the bottom I'm going to take the first centre peg and I'm going to go from the centre outwards and then for the rest of them I'm just going to hook it on the peg and then over the one in front of it. And it's very important that you go from the bottom to the top otherwise when you're looping the bands over it will all just fall apart when you take the bracelet off and that's not very good after all the work that you've put into it. So I'll be back in a second to show you when that side is done. So you want to hook the bands over all of the pegs all the way up to the top and you just keep going straight, you don't have to go inwards. And then back down at the bottom, I'm getting my centre colour, which is yellow, and you need nine of these bands, don't forget. And then, much like before, we're going over the bottom band in the middle and all the way up the centre rows, all the way up to the top. So I've threaded all the middle bands all the way up to the top. We're going back down to the bottom and now we're doing the right hand side. So we're grabbing 10 of our right hand colour, which for me is pink, and we're going from the centre once again much like we did before, all the way up to the top. And there we go. There is what your three colours should look like so far. So each of the pegs have bands on except for the bottom two. And now you need to grab your centre colour, which for me is black, and you'll need nine of those. And then you're just starting at the bottom, although it doesn't necessarily matter. Not with the first three pegs, but the next three pegs. You're making an upside down triangle shape over three of, three of the pegs. And you're just doing that all the way up to the top. And there we go. There's all your upside down triangle shapes all the way up to the top of the loom. And this is the point where you need to flip your loom around. So now the triangles are the right way up. And the openings of the pegs are downwards facing you because now we're ready to start looping. So the looping process is a little bit tricky, but I'm sure you'll be able to manage it. So all we need to do is you need to put your hook inside the peg. So you put your hook inside the peg like this, you push back that black band or whichever color your triangle band is, you hook the color band, you unloop it and you loop it over the top of the peg in front of it. I'll show you that again. So you're putting your hook inside the peg, pushing the black band out of the way, you're hooking the bottom band, you're unlooping it and looping it over the top of the peg in front. I'll try a different angle for you see if it's any easier. So we're putting the hook inside the band, we're pushing the black band out of the way we're grabbing that bottom band and hooking over the top. And you just continue to do that for the rest of the row. And then once you get back to the end, you need to take this band. You don't have any black bands to, take, to move out of the way. So you're hooking the bottom pink band and you're just hooking that over the centre peg. And that's your first side done. And you go all the way to the bottom again and you take your middle colour And you're hooking the middle colour over the top of the peg in front. 
it's a lot easier than the side colours because you don't have any of the centre bands or the triangle bands to move out of the way. So it's much easier. And you just continue doing that all the way up. And then just like before, you just take the centre band and pull it over the top peg. And then you're ready to start on the next side, which you do exactly the same as you did on the first side. Pushing that black band out of the way and hooking over the peg on top. Pushing the back band out of the way, hooking over the peg on top. And you finish that off the same way as before as well. And I'll be back to remind you how to do that. So when you're at the end, you just hook the bottom band and you just place it over the top of the centre pin. And that's everything done. Now it's time for the slightly scary part, taking off of the loom. You just put your hook into ends of all the bands, underneath all of them. Make sure you pick them all up, otherwise it will fall apart. And then I've got all the bands on my hook. And then gently, gently, I'm easing the bands off of all the pegs. And there we have our completed triple single bracelet. As you can see, it isn't quite long enough to fit around my wrist. So what you can do is you can get some bands of any color really and loop them round to form a single chain to make until you have an extension chain long enough to fit around your wrist. If you're not sure how to do a single chain, we have a video for that on our YouTube channel as well. And I will pop a link to it in the description box below so you can go to that and follow that video. And there you have it, your completed triple single bracelet. All I did to finish it off was pop a C clip in or S clip or whichever clip you like to use and then it's good to wear. Don't forget to check the description box below for any details that I think you might find useful such as where you can buy all of the materials I've mentioned today along with the video and how we do the single chain using the stretch bands.